This video is geared mainly towards foreigners because we're the only ones who really have to deal with this issue because, you know, most Cambodians don't deal with it. But uh, when you visit Cambodia or move here, you know, whichever the case may be, one thing you're going to have to deal with is transportation. And you might be one of the foreigners who get, you know, a moto at some point, but, you know, which most of us eventually do for this very reason. But the main way people get around here are tuk-tuks, which are, you know, little rickshaws hooked to, you know, motos and you, you pay a fee and they drive you anywhere around town, like anywhere you want to go. And um, one problem that most foreigners will deal with, especially people who are new to Cambodia, is getting scammed. And it is incredibly common to get scammed here. I remember coming here and them trying to charge me $10 for, you know, a one kilometer ride, you know, roughly a mile, and trying to and then trying to charge ten dollars just because they see that I'm not Cambodian so they assume that you know it's easy to scam me and one thing that they don't realize is that they're actually putting themselves out of business because a few companies have sprung up uh, you know one probably the most popular company is PassApp and PassApp is an app you can put on your phone and you can call for a ride and it's actually better to do that because calling for the ride, you know, there's a set fee. You can see exactly how much, how much it is. They can't scam you that way. And you also have all the information of the person who took you. So it's safer for girls that way. And you also can put a map in so you don't have to give directions. So if you don't have, you know, enough Kamai to communicate with the person, you put the map in and in theory, they should be able to find your place. Sometimes they don't know how to read a map, so they're not able to find the place. But yeah, PassApp has actually really hurt the tuk-tuk industry. But before you go and feel sorry for them, just realize that they brought this on themselves. So the tuk-tuk drivers, not all, but, but most tuk-tuk drivers will end up trying to scam you out of money and they scam everyone out of money and try to get as much as they can, which I understand that they don't make a lot, so of course getting as much money as possible, you know, as quickly as possible is, you know, what they think is going to, you know, keep them employed, but what it does is it causes all of us to go to PassApp. And we go there, we use PassApp and go where we want, and we don't really have that much of an issue except for you know minor hiccups of you know them not being able to read the map and stuff but like tuk-tuks have really you know done themselves in i see a lot of tuk-tuk drivers who have become pass up drivers just for the fact that most foreigners don't get in tuk-tuks anymore the only ones you see in tuk-tuks are tourists a typical foreigner won't get in a tuk-tuk like an expat foreigner, one who lives here, who has lived here for, you know, at least six months. Usually we figure out PassApp and we start taking PassApp. And PassApp doesn't cost anything to download the app, so I definitely recommend using PassApp. But PassApp is not without scams either, because uh, PassApp drivers, some of them have gotten a little bit greedy because PassApp does charge them 20 a 20 percent fee on all their trips, but. Um, that's normal. I mean, like Uber would charge something like that too if they were using that, which Uber didn't last long at all. So, which I'm, I'm not, you know, sad to see them go. But like with PassApp, one of the scams, which someone hit me with this scam recently, is the PassApp driver will give you a sob story telling you that you know, they take 20%, PassApp takes 20%, so is it okay if I turn the phone off and just use the odometer and then, you know, it'll be exactly the same. And the first time I, I got hit with this, I decided just to see what would happen. I knew I was, pro, you know, most likely going to get scammed, but I wanted to see. And to go from uh, my house to 
Eon Mall. It usually costs, uh, you know, about two and a half dollars, maybe. So about two dollars and fifty cents. And so I, I got I got in, and he took me there, just using his odometer. And I was, you know, of course, re recording what Passap had estimated, which they had estimated, you know, about two fifty. And when I got there. He turned around and said, oh, it's going to be about $4. So he completely decided to scam me. So I, of course, pointed to the to the pass up estimate and told him that's how much it was. So he, you know, eventually owned up to it and, you know, I, I paid the normal fee. So it was pretty much a waste of time on, on his part. I mean, he did end up getting you know, the 20% that he would normally have to be pass up. So he benefited that way, but you know, he could have just been honest and taken the pass up. So don't fall for that scam either. If you get in and one, they don't know, you know, where to go. If you, you put the map in and then they ask you directions, I would just get out because you put the map in, they obviously are going to get lost, which the more, t you know, twists and turns you take, uh, the more expensive it's going to be. So get in, if they know where to go, then, you know, that's ideal. You don't have to say anything. Ideally, you should be able just to hop in the pass app, take it and get to your destination, be done. You know, and always ask to see the price when you're using pass app too. But like, don't feel sorry for the tuk-tuk drivers because they're doing this to themselves. Because now in order to compete with pass app, they're having the, to charge more and they're trying to scam more and more foreigners. And I've even had some of them offering me like, you know, a reasonable fee because they realize they're making no money. So yeah, I mean, they did this to themselves. And for all you foreigners who come here and you're like, well, the, the tuk tuk drivers don't make that much money. So I'm just going to let them charge me $5. You're actually destroying, you know, their business by doing that. Because every time you do that, they try it with other foreigners and we tell them no. And so every time you, you know, just let them scam you, you're not helping them at all. You're actually putting them on the unemployment line. Like they're going to be unemployed because of you doing that. So my advice, never pay more than $3 to go anywhere in Phnom Penh. Anywhere, from anywhere. It should never cost more than $3. If you're paying more than three dollars you're getting scammed definitely so if you want to tip them just give them three dollars most likely they're getting a tip out of that anyway give them no more than three dollars for anywhere and they might you know tell you it's come on new years or they'll try all kinds of things don't give them big tips don't let them scam you and you'll actually help them in the long run so that's my advice as far as you know, getting around here in Phnom Penh. And of course, there's always motos. Motos are gonna be the cheapest, even cheaper than pass up. So you, you can always try a moto, but if you don't speak Khmer, you're, you're probably not going to do too well with that. So download pass app, use pass app. There are a few others, but you know, pass app's the main one. Use that. Either don't take tuk-tuks or don't take tuk-tuks for more than $3. If they try to scam you, walk away. And a lot of times they'll lower the price once you do that. So, you know, that's my advice as far as tuk-tuks go. And, you know, if you have any experiences like that, go ahead and leave a comment down below. And I'm sure most of you have had horror stories here. And probably even Cambodians have, you know, they've tried to scam you too. So if you've been scammed by them, leave a comment below, you know, you know, telling me what happened. And, you know, I'll, I'll definitely reply. And, and uh, you know, if I haven't subscribed to your channel, I'll subscribe to just, you know, just for commenting. So other than that, I will talk to you later. It's crazy how everyone is out.